everyone as you know I am Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. In this video we are going to cover what are methods in Python so this is going to be more theoretical class. In the last one we learned about the formatted strings and this was really helpful. I really hope you practiced it well but pay attention that this ain't gonna be some more built-in functions like print or like input all right so this is going to be a little different but why this is going to be different well to figure it out it's time to see what's going on on our blue board so look at that amazing fancy car and let's say that we want to do something with it okay now there are several actions you can take with cars that you can't take on any other product all right so let's think that we are writing a program that we have a car and we want to move that from one place to another now it doesn't matter if it is possible in Python or not so let's just think about it in real life situation well you can drive your car because this is why cars are made okay the cars are made so you can drive with them and arrive from one place to another like this car does right now but what if I put a ball in front of you and ask you to drive a ball is this even possible no you can't do that okay so this is an action you can't take when you have a ball because this is not that kind of product like the car but for sure if you want to take some other actions with the ball like to throwing it or to kick it this is something you can do so you see my point here is to tell you that each product in our real life has it is own actions and you can do each of the actions in any product so this is the exact same thing when we refer this to python and let's see how this is the exact same thing so we have here two variables one string and one integer and I'm interested to print them. Now, what we want is to print the name in all uppercase. So this is, for example, a special method or action that I can take only with strings. So let's try to do that with the name variable. So all I have to do is hitting here the dot sign and right after that, all the special methods appear to me in a dropdown. So each one of them that are marked with an M letter it is a method that I can use. So let's click the upper method. And then if I print this, you see that I get Python for beginners in all uppercase. But if I go down to the number and hit the dot just near of it, you see that I get totally different methods. So now we understand that different types of variables have different methods that we can use. So let's jump on to a similar example but also talk about another important thing that we must know. So let's just delete all of this and print this thing. So now we have just one variable called title and I try to print this sentence all in lowercase. When we use that special methods, these methods are not going to change our variables, all right? This is not going to change that titles value so if I even use that dot lower this ain't going to go to my Python memory and change that title from Python for absolute beginners to Python for absolute beginners in all lowercase okay so in order to prove my point let's give an example all right so let's say that we are going to print title here and also we will print title dot lower all right Right after that, we will print once again the title itself. So if I execute this, let's see what's happening here. So in the first step, we got Python for absolute beginners as is, as we defined in the first line. And right after that, we got all in lowercase. And right after that, we got again a whole title. So you see, the title dot lower did not do any effect on the title variable. It is just behaved in some special behavior and it took some special action for that specific line, okay? So this is not going to override my actual variable. So this is really important to understand when we talk about methods. 
So I thought it is the best to use this class as a checkpoint to make some theoretical explanations about the methods because they are massively important. So actually the methods are unique to something that is called classes. Now classes may be something you've heard before, but yes, we did not learn about classes and terms like object-oriented programming yet, but we will do learn in the future. But for now, we will stick with defining the methods as functions that could be used on each of the variable types so for example you can use the dot lower method in strings but you can't use it on floats so in the next class we will learn about more special methods that we have on strings and we are going to practice them if you enjoyed this video crack the subscribe button and thumbs up to my video comment below any question you have it is really important to me I will see you in the next one.